everyone and welcome to another speed build in The Sims 3. Uh, today we are working on decorating this family home that Styleful Sims has created for us to decorate. Uh, this home, um, she called it Green Thumb Living and it is on the Sims 3 exchange if you would like to download it as is without being decorated. It's an empty, I guess you could say a shell of the house. As you can see there is nothing done with the interior and that is what we're going to do today and I definitely suggest checking out her channel. She does um, Let's Plays in The Sims 4 along with uh, speed builds of other houses and everything that seems 4 as well along with a few Sims 3 items. Um, not a lot on The Sims 3. She prefers The Sims 4 which is nice. She does an excellent job at building and decorating everything in The Sims 4 as well. So I definitely suggest checking out her channel and seeing some of her really nice builds that she has done. And uh, we are going to go ahead, um, we're going to decorate this home today and I will leave a link in the description uh, for her channel along with a link to the channel or to the video where she is decorating this home or not decorating excuse me sorry about that the video where she is building this home um, I will have that in the description as well and if you would like to download uh, the furnished version of this home I will have that in the description as well and like I said in her channel you will find the link for uh, the download of this house. Like I said, it's on the Sims 3 exchange. And uh, I will go ahead and get started with the decorating part of this video. So the first thing I did with this house was just kind of extend the driveway a little bit and did the siding there on the grill area. Um, but basically with this uh, floor plan of this house, I originally wanted to do a laundry room in it and I wanted to have a basement access from the laundry room to the basement so that's kind of what I'm doing here. I uh, ends up not having a laundry room so if you're kind of wondering if this house has one, no it does not have a laundry room. I realized um, after I had gotten the floor plan all figured out that where I was thinking of the laundry room it wasn't really going to work so um, I didn't really like the way it was going to end up happening so we ended up uh, just making that a half bath instead. Uh, this house offers an office area. It also offers um, the master suite is on the first floor and it has an attached bathroom and uh, it has two bedrooms upstairs and that also has a Jack and Jill bathroom and in case you're not sure what a Jack and Jill bathroom is that is a bathroom that is connected by two bedrooms and that's pretty much the only access into it is actually through the bedrooms. So um, just going through and just kind of blackening out the areas that your sims cannot go. I find it helps direct the eyes um, when you're playing only to the areas that you can play in the house. Um, I just prefer it that way. It's an easy change if it's something that you you know prefer not to do. So just going through and doing a few of those little things and putting a roof and everything on there for it and now we're going to go ahead and do the floor plan for the upstairs. Um, when I originally did this I, I figured the um, bathroom had plenty of space and then when I went to go decorate it and put the furnishings in I actually sat there and looked at it a second because what I had in mind actually was not going to work. So. <laughs> Uh, we do end up getting it figured out though, so that's all good. Um, whenever I do building on the houses and stuff, I usually just kind of bounce around from room to room depending on what happens to be coming to my mind at the time for the decorating, whatever, you know, whichever room I, I guess, you know, can think of how I want to do it anyway. That's usually, usually the room I start with and for some reason it's always the kitchen. I don't know why, but I always start with the kitchens. I think. I think I usually do. Uh, but now I'm just going in and doing the doors. Um, I've never actually paid much attention. Um, I do this with the doors sometimes just to kind of add a little of an added decorating or um, I don't know, added look to the doors, you know, with the window above. They are usable. I do know that. Um, however, 
I was playing in a house that I had done that and I don't think I may have looked wrong or maybe I missed it I don't know but I don't think the door opened or closed so um, I I'm guess if that's something that bothers you then I guess just go ahead and delete the arch part of the door and then the door should open and close for you but the small glance that I had of the door they did not open that I saw anyway so I could be wrong um, at the time of this commentary I hadn't tested the house yet I do know that those doors do work uh, because I have you know have used them and never had a problem I just never was paying attention at the time on whether or not the door opened or closed so um, but so at the time like I said I hadn't tested this house I do plan on testing it um, I do know uh, of some things that will not work but there are um, a couple things that I'm a little unsure of so uh, by the time this is up for download things will be tested for you and I will know at the time what things can be uh, can be used and what can't be and most of the time the bookshelves are not usable when I place them inside of another piece of furniture so if there happens to be a bookshelf and I know there is in this build um, where they are merged into other pieces of furniture they will not work all you have to do is delete the books from the bookshelf uh, however if you want to keep those books you will have to manually remove them and then manually put them in a different bookshelf I have found that a sim even after you take the books out they will repeatedly want to put the book back into a bookshelf that it originally came from so if you took it out of a bookshelf they can't use they will constantly want to try to put it back into that bookshelf so my suggestion if you want to keep the books uh, remove them manually and then manually put them into another bookshelf that way it now has a new original bookshelf that it came from and the sims will then put them back in that bookshelf instead of keep trying for the other ones instead so anyway um, I decided I wanted to try a little bit of something different I have never I don't think anyway created a buff I don't know if you would call it a buffet or um, really what you would call it these pieces of furniture that you see in you know kinda like a china cabinet but not really um, that you sometimes see in the dining room so uh, that's kind of what I am doing here. I just wanted something a little bit different. Uh, you know, instead of always putting the same pieces of furniture in all the time, I like to try to create new pieces. That way we have something a little bit different to look at. Something that's a little bit nicer, I guess. So, um, so just going through and adding a few things here and there to, you know, add clutter. I always add clutter. I love clutter. I don't know why, but... <laughs> I always feel like that it helps make the house feel more lived in. Um, I'm just adjusting that shelf. I'm very picky when I do these kinds of pieces of furniture on um, the way they look. Uh, the lighting in The Sims 3 is not the greatest. So I'm always moving shelves around, you know, on their height and everything, trying to get it to blend in as smoothly as I possibly can. Uh, so, uh, like I said, that piece of furniture is done. Now, um, from my experience, I can tell you that the chair that is there at that buffet will not work for you. Um, since it's not at a table, they cannot move the chair out. And where it is positioned, they will not be able to use it. So don't try to use that chair. I can tell you right now it's not going to work. Um, so here is where I had was thinking about making a laundry room. And when I realized it, it was going to have two doors going into the kitchen and I really didn't like the idea of two doors right next to each other like that going into the kitchen so I decided just to make this a half bath off of the entryway um, it's kind of a weird location I had thought about that but I really didn't want to move it because I liked the way the floor plan had turned out so um, it is you know a little bit odd for a half bath to be right there when you first enter but I think it works out and it looks good um, and like I said there is a basement access I do not do anything with it 
Uh, so if you would like to have it there, you can. It's already ready for you and already placed under the stairs. There's no work for you to do. So it's all ready for you. So uh, sometimes when I do base, most of the time actually if I do a basement, I usually, if I'm going to upload the house, I don't do anything with it. Um, I like to have, you know, do those that way. You know, you can, you can do what you want with it. You know, make it your own. Uh, sometimes I do furnish it, sometimes I don't, um, and sometimes I go back in and then furnish it myself from my own game, and sometimes again, sometimes I don't. So, uh, basically what I was doing with this room is it really bugs me when you have an open landing like this and the trim on the top of the wall goes through the, you know, the two-story wall through the center. I think that I personally just think that looks kind of unfinished and tacky. Now, I know it looks a little odd, you know, when you're on the first floor plan of that one section there that does not have trim. But if you look at it from the second story, from the second floor, from the landing, you'll see why it's open. And from that view, I think it looks very nice. I do like it. So, um, if you're ever wondering why, you know, if you ever download one of my houses and you kind of see something like that, that would be why. And as you can see, that gives a nice clean look from the first floor all the way up to the second uh, story ceiling. Nice clean look of wallpaper and no trim through the center of it. So um, I'm not sure why I decided to do the landing at the time that I did. Usually that happens when I'm ready to do the second floor, but for whatever reason, I guess I already had in mind what I wanted to be up here. So we went ahead and just did the uh, landing, um, I guess, right away. So normally I don't do that, but I'm just going through and adding some more clutter and some more detail. And I love using rugs. I know it seems kind of, kind of odd to have a rug on top of carpet, but I find it looks very nice. Um, in fact, here at our house, um, we have. Uh, rugs on top of carpet and I don't know it just adds a nice look to it so I really do like that it's definitely that's one of the reasons why you always see rugs in my house is that I build I really I mean I know I didn't build this one I decorated it but um, that's why you use a lot of rugs I just like them they add a little something so just adding a few pictures there on the wall as if you're coming up the stairs and there's some you know pictures of the family or something so uh, and then I have a tendency that when I put curtains in I have a tendency to move furniture out if they go in that just looks kind of odd I mean you wouldn't have that you know in your own home you know you wouldn't want to sit on the chair and sit on your curtains so I tend to move pieces of furniture out of the way if that happens to happen um, and basically what I'm doing with these scones is I'm just kind of using them to add more decorating or decoration to the wall. Um, just, you know, something a little bit different. Uh, that way there's plenty of stuff on the wall, plenty of things to look at. Now one of my favorite rooms of this house is actually this office um, that I'm currently doing now. And again, I that living room is so big, I wasn't at the time sure what I was going to do with it. And that's kind of why I keep skipping it. Uh, but I really like this office. Um, I, you know, I've never think to put couches and stuff in the offices, but this one, I don't know why I did. It just feels more business-like is kind of how I think this one looks. Um, and of course, you got your painting easel there for, you know, all your creative sims who wants to paint. So, um, and then I added some plants and never used that floor plant before, um, but I think it actually looks pretty nice, I thought. And I kind of added that shelf there just to try to make it look like, you know, got to have somewhere to put your paintings and things like that and your pencils and paints and everything. And if you're wondering why I had a second shelf and I cluttered it up and then put it over, Sometimes I'll do that because it adds more spots for uh, objects to sit and it looks like on one shelf that I have all, you know, one shelf but a whole bunch of clutter items. That's because I actually put two shelves merged together and that gives me more 
you know, more slots. So more more ways to clutter. Like I said, I love cluttering. So <laughs> I do all kinds of things that lets me add extra stuff. So um, basically what I was doing there, um, I, I like that TV. It looks like a nice expensive TV, you know, a nice widescreen TV. But I think the table that it sits on is just positively ugly. I really don't like the table it's on. So I usually merge it in with another uh, coffee table of some sort instead to kind of give it a different look to make it look a little bit nicer. Plus with having the cloth, the coffee table there, I don't do it in this house I have in the past. Um, that will actually give you the opportunity to clutter up the coffee table around the TV if you like. So like I said, I didn't do it this time, but it is possible to add more things if you like. Um, basically what I did with this living room was with how big it was, I was able to create a like a family room area where they, you know, can sit and watch TV together. And then like another like a formal area, I guess you could say around the fireplace. It's kind of, you know, how I ended up thinking on this house and not you know, in this room. I I do think it turned out pretty good. Um, normally I don't have super large rooms to try to fill up space with and I really wanted a fireplace in this house so um, you know it just ended up t turning out really nice and I actually experimented a little bit with this build on using different shades of carpet uh, instead of always using the same know same kind of shade so um, I think that turned out pretty nicely I, I like the way the carpet ended up doing and like I said I don't usually mess too much with carpets um, you know just an added amount of time that you got to do to sit there and try to decide what color you want so sometimes I don't bother um, and again here we are with some more of the sconces and pictures and I like to add to make the make the sconces look a little bit different I like to give them different candles, color, you know, candles that kind of go with the room that they're currently in. So I'm here just trying to figure out, as right here I was doing it again with that shelf. Two shelves there give you, you know, more slots. So if you're wondering how in the world did I fit that many objects on one shelf, well now, now you know my secret. <laughs> I add several, you know, sometimes I have a couple of shelves merged together to create one that way. Um, you know that way we can have more places and stuff and I originally was going to put a grand piano in here I thought maybe we'd be lucky and have the space but it was just way too big I mean I know it's a big living room but by the time I was done adding the other pieces of furniture that I wanted it really wasn't big enough anymore for a grand piano so we just went ahead and did um, my regular upright piano that you will see quite often in a lot of my builds just for some added uh, stuff for your sims to do and plenty of music books around. Uh, we have a piano at our house here and there is music books absolutely everywhere. So <laughs> what's a piano without music books laying all over the floor? That's I guess the way I kind of see it because and that's the way it's always been tons of tons of books everywhere so I wasn't sure what to do with this space because really when you have a walk area from room to room you don't really want too much stuff in the way um, it's just kind of a, a rule of thumb especially if you are wanting to show a house to sell you you don't clutter up the main walkway from going from one area to another so um that's why I wasn't really too sure what to do with that space. It was a decent sized space and all I did, you know, as you can see was just put some bookshelves and and a light there. So uh but anyway here what I am doing. Um I don't know why in this build I have created so many new looks and pieces of furniture. Uh I wanted to do with this bed. I like using this one. It doesn't do I don't think very good on Sims sleep like they are not fully rested as quickly but uh, I, I like using it because it seems to fit very well if you want to create a different type of headboard. Uh, these bookshelves they should be usable. I do plan on testing the bed. I believe I have created this bookshelf or something similar anyway to this before 
and the bed was still usable. I will test this bed uh, when I get done doing the voiceover, so I am pretty certain the bed will still work. But I wanted to use, you know, a little bit of a different kind of headboard. So, on all kinds of clutter, as you can see, that headboard is full of stuff sitting on top of it. So, uh, just going through and doing some more basic pieces of furniture. I love using that vase there, or vase, however you say it, uh, with that plant. Um, that is a store content. Um, I can't remember if it was a free item or if it came with an expansion pack. I'm not sure. Or I mean like a store content world. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. And uh, um, I, it'll tell you like this house will be on the exchange. Uh, and if you go to the items, it'll show it. So you'll be able to find it. Um, but here I'm just kind of putting what kind of looks like a makeup uh, table. Like a vanity. Uh, the stool should be usable. I usually rotate the stool. That way the Sims can still sit on it. A lot of times... Uh, when I'm playing a game that has one of these uh, vanities that I create, the Sims like to sit there while they're reading a book, and it looks really nice when they do that. I like how they do it. Um, you know, it looks very, I, mean, I don't know, it doesn't really look comfortable, but I mean, it looks good, I guess. I uh, wasn't really too sure what I wanted to do here. I wanted a light, but I was out of spots to put things on the table. So we ended up just doing that type of light that hangs from the from the wall. Um, I'm not really too sure if I really cared for it. Normally I end up putting some kind of wall light uh, for like the vanity lights but they weren't really fitting because the windows. So uh, um, that was really about the only option I had. So uh, here is just the uh, master bathroom. Just a basic bathroom. It's just a tub. Um, I didn't want to put a shower or anything in because it would have blocked the windows and I didn't really want to do that. So here we are. We're just giving it some a tile backsplash and just like a uh, basic like neutral, not really, I guess they are kind of a neutral color. Your browns. Um, they're the warm earthy tones is kind of what I decided to go with in this room. Uh, so just some basic stuff. Um, sometimes I get a little bit created with a bathroom and add a few different kinds of things to it. Like I'll even put like the shelf I think I use like right there um, you know for more bath stuff when you're taking your bath. And then of course the kitty picture. Um, I do use that once in a while. Um, but and then you know another scones just to kind of add a little bit more lighting and a little bit more to the wall. That way it doesn't seem quite so bare, you know, a little bit of decoration. And there's those paint, those little pictures again. I love using those things. You can, you can put them in so many different uh, combinations and different looks and add different things to them. I just really love using those pictures. So I know they're the exact same picture, but I don't know. They just add a little something, a little added detail to them. This one, um, like I said, we did a Jack and Jill bathroom. So I had decided this time, sometimes I try making a neutral kid's bedroom. This time I decided to go with a boy bedroom and a girl bedroom. And I know, um, you know, girls can go in the blue bedroom too. I mean, I personally love blue. That is my favorite color. Um, so it really doesn't matter. Um, I know some boys, like the other bath bedroom, I think I did in a red. So that's still, you know, a boy can go in that one. Nothing, you know, I mean, nothing says they have to, uh, you know, be in specific bedrooms. But again, here I am just kind of creating a new type since this wall was kind of a weird angle. We, you know, they're kind of weird, odd shaped. I do know that though that computer will work. I have done this multiple times of putting in a little kitchen table with the shelf and everything there and it does work. Now what I was hoping for with the other chair, if you're kind of wondering why is that sitting in front of a bookshelf? Well, I kind of thought, well, you know, sometimes Sims like to write letters to other Sims. Um, I haven't tested that yet for sure on whether or not they can. I'm going to assume they can, but I really don't know if they can write a letter for sure in that chair, but I guess I'm kind of hoping that they can. I thought that piece of furniture looked really nice. It gives a nice, um, you know, a little bit of something different. And they still have, you know, their little computer and everything to play their games or whatever in their room. 
you know, and also a place you know, if they want to do homework. So like I said, hopefully the other chair and table works and they can do their homework. Because that was the whole point of putting that chair and stuff there was to kind of kind of do that with it. So, um, but just I was going to move on to the next, the other girls or the other bedroom and realize I forgot those curtains. So that's why we kind of went back. So here we are. Um, the only, really, only reason why this is kind of directed more towards the girl is because I do put kind of some dolls and stuff in this room. Not a whole lot, but some of the wall hangings are just kind of a little bit more directed to that. And I kind of wanted to go with like a red type of theme. Uh, so I'm just kind of trying to figure out the walls and everything to try to go with it. Uh, and there's a doll that I put in there and um, I think there's even a wall hanging that's kind of pinkish and I don't know it's a free it's from the store and it's free I'm not I'll have to look it up for sure but I'm pretty positive um, I found it because I went in the store the exchange and not the exchange part but the uh, the store part and I typed in free don't ask me why I decided to do that but each time I did that it actually brought up different items and I happened to find several store content items that were actually free and that little branch that's on the wall above the book bag and everything is one of those items so um, I'm not sure I'll have to look it up for sure um, to see exactly what it's called I don't know off the top of my hand what it's called but I do know it was free. Well, anyway, here's the bathroom, the Jack and Jill bathroom. I originally wanted to put a bathtub in that, like, corner area where the sink and toilet is. But when I actually came in here and was looking at it, like I said, I paused my recording and I looked at this bathroom and I thought, you know what? A toilet and sink is not going to fit in that other area, you know, where the shower is currently sitting. So. We ended up doing it this way, and I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I wasn't sure what this bathroom was going to look like, because I've never done anything, you know, a bathroom quite like this. But I think it works. I like it. It's got the two doors, like I said, the Jack and Jill bathroom. So, and some curtains to close if you want a little bit more privacy. And uh, here we are going into uh, the screenshots. And like I said, um... Styleful Sims. Uh, she did the building part of this uh, house, so definitely check out her channel to see that video. And like I said, there's the basement. If you would like to expand it, I did not expand it or anything. It is rather small, so um, expand it to however big, whatever size that you want for your family. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.